Hello my lovelies and I am back with another video. Um, oh, this actually took me a long time to draw, not because, you know, if you put the video clips together uh, of the recordings that I've done, it's, it's just slightly over four hours, um, almost five hours. But the problem is I did not have time to draw. I actually started this drawing um, in December 2020, going on holiday with the family. And uh, you know how things go on holiday. You, you, you start something because you don't want to fall behind. And then one thing just leads to another thing. And you're having fun with your family. And you are going for walks and just doing nice stuff. And then you end up not drawing anything. But I did want to finish this. Um, because, yeah, <sighs> this character is one of my favorite characters. So um, I'll tell you a little bit something about what I'm doing here I've decided to make it a ballpoint pen drawing a ballpoint ink uh, black ink and this is one of the cheapest pens actually I think this is a pen we got for free somewhere it was in, uh, in so, um, at one of the schools uh, they were just handing out to um, employees the, these free pens and this is the pen I decided to use and let me tell you something I was not disappointed. Yes, every now and then uh, you have to blotch off the ink. As you can see, I've got the little scrap piece of paper there and then I just blotch it so it doesn't smudge. But it actually came out not too bad at all. I've only really started doing ballpoint pen drawings um, during Inktober of 2020 and um, especially portraits and stuff like that because I thought I want to challenge myself and uh, start practicing a little bit more doing portraits and using ink and using a ballpoint pen for sketching and this is what I've done here. Um, so I've decided to draw Gina Carano. Um, she plays as Cara Dune in The Mandalorian. And I absolutely love this woman. I love the way she holds herself. I love the way she acts. I love her face. I love her body. Um, I love the way she stands. Everything. She's just a magnificent woman. And, you know, you can clearly she see she likes to take care of herself. I don't read tabloids and try to find out what actors are like in real life because I don't really care when you are watching a movie or a series or something you fall in love with the character not the actor so yeah she is a great actress I love the way she acts and she brings the character to life um, oh and while I'm on the subject can I just have a quick shout out to um, John Favreau and say Man, he really knows what he's doing with Star Wars, with the Mandalorian. He, he really goes into detail. I can actually, you can actually think that he loves Star Wars and it comes out in his work, in his writing and directing of, um, of these episodes. Like for instance, um, bringing out the Great Dragon Pearl. That's not really canon in any of the movies. So, if you are a Star Wars fan that watched all the movies, seeing it uh, being brought out in the series, you know, it's, it's not a big deal, but it's there. But if you are a true hardcore fan like me and my son, then it's, oh, I can't believe he brought that out because it's um, storylines from the comics and stuff. So, for us to see that, it's like, wow. Um, he's doing a magnificent job. Okay, anyway, back to the drawing. Um, there's not a lot of advice that I can give you guys if you want to do with um, drawings with ballpoint pen. Um, I actually only really started last year during Inktober of 2020 where I wanted to challenge myself. I wanted to do more portraits and I wanted to practice making ballpoint pen drawings. And um, that's what it did. A couple of them came out really great. Not all of them, but you know, I'm learning. 
and learning is part of the fun. So when I decided to draw this Gina, I decided I wanted to make it a ballpoint pen because I want to keep on practicing this. So there's not a lot of advice I can give, but what I can tell you guys is, first of all, remember to blotch the ink, the, 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 the pen point from the ink so that it doesn't smudge. And secondly, yes, do pencil outlines first. Don't just wing it. Have a plan set um, and use your guidelines. It's very important. And then when it comes to the detail and the shading, I would like to say don't scratch back and forth. Keep your pen at a slight angle closer to the paper and do one directional strokes if you want something, especially something very smooth, like for instance a metal armor here. You want it smooth, so you do one directional strokes. You can do it very fast at an angle, uh, holding the pen at an angle, and then it doesn't come out quite scratchy, but it gives it a nice texture. Now some of the very, very darker parts, like for instance there by her sleeve, and her chest armor there you can go back and forth if you want to make a very very solid black um, coloring but if you are just doing the shading do what I say just keep it flat to the paper oh don't do what I say it's my advice to you take it or leave it <laughs> uh, and also layering of course because as things are three-dimensional and not flat, you have to make the curves and doing the shading in uh, making that curve noticeable helps if you layer it. So go it over and over. Make the places darker there where you want it to be dark. And if you want more texture, like for instance drawing material or something like that, um, do it crisscross, but also go one directional. First to one side, then uh, horizontally, and then vertically. That's my advice. I don't know if it will help you guys. It, it helps me. I don't know if I'm doing it correct. I'm also just trying to learn. But the way this picture came out, I'm quite proud of it. And I think I didn't do too bad of a job with it. And I would like to make some more in the future. So yes, please like and subscribe this video. Thank you for watching. As I've, I've got hardly any followers. I would like to have more. I would like to make more videos. And of course, if you have some constructive criticism, I'm always open to listening to that. So tell me what you think and tell me what you do differently. Or maybe have some better advice than the ones I've got. It was something else I wanted to say now. Let me just think quickly. Oh, yeah, for the background of this picture. I didn't really want to make a detailed background because I want her, the front character, to stand out. But I also didn't want to leave the paper blank. So what I did afterwards is I just used my charcoal and made some light swirly um, coloring in motions with the black charcoal as the background closer to the edges and a little bit lighter towards she is you'll see it now when I do that and that's it for now that's all I'm going to say on the matter please like I said like this video give it a thumbs down if you don't like it no, but tell me what you think and I will try to make more in the meantime enjoy the rest of this video and well, love you guys. Bye for now.